SQL programming and database design using Microsoft SQL Server 2012. This is Kalman Toth. This is my new book. It is available on Amazon.com and also in your local bookstore. This building is the Citibank building at the end of Wall Street, 111 Wall Street. On September 11, I was happily programming in SQL on the 22nd floor before being bombed out from here by terrorists. First, let's take a look um, of the input for the import. So this is the CSV file which we are going to import. We see the column headers in the first line. Then we notice that uh, the product name is enclosed in double quotes. The reason for it, the value for that column has, may have, comma in it. In comma-separated values, we use commas to separate the values, so we are forced to do something different for the product. We have to take this into account when we are setting up our import. This was the query which uh, we used for the export. So let's uh, set up a new table with select into to be in the same format. And we just want an empty table, so we say top zero. Execute. So we have our table ready. It's empty. Let's fire up the wizard. Import data. So this is the SSIS. Import export wizard. The flat file source. So .csv. And we have to supply the file name. So this is the file name. The text qualifier, as we've seen, is a double quote. Column names in the first data row. So, so far is okay. Now let's go to the columns and advanced. So in advanced, product ID, text qualified, false. Product, text qualified, true. Product number, text qualified, false. List price, text qualified, false. Color, text qualified, false. And list price should be money type. Let's see if we'll find currency. So it's currency type. Product number is fine. Product, uh, but maybe longer. So let's put 80. And product ID should be four by signed integer. So we did some mapping. So this is the name of the input file. We have tax qualifier, but we only enabled it for the product name column. The data looks okay. Preview. That looks okay as well. Next. 
So the destination is going to be HPE star, AdventureWorks 2012 database, this particle table which we already set up. Edit mappings. The mappings, the mapping should be okay. We have to be very careful because um, if something is wrong with the mapping, the data transport is not going to take place. But so far, everything seems to be in order. We have some yellow markers, yellow triangles, but that may be okay. Nothing is red. Red would be a problem. Next. Finish. Finish. Well, we got an error. We have to come back and fix something. And it is, we have to enable identity insert. Finish. Finish. And now it is successful. So the reason we were unable to insert because the product ID inherited the identity property from production.product table. But now we were successful and here is the result. In summary, importing uh, .csv file to the database is a very delicate task. We have to set up mapping very carefully to be successful in the import. Exporting is uh, much, much easier. This is the end of a short demo.